If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, let T from R3 to R3 be the transformation defined by T of X equals X1, X2, minus X3. Determine if T is a linear transformation. So we want to check if the transformation that sends a vector to x1, x2, negative x3 is linear. So the first thing we should, just, we should do is check to make sure that it sends the zero vector to the zero vector, and it does. If it doesn't, then we're done. We would know it's not linear. And so now let's take a look to see what it does to the vector cu plus dv. Now here, c and d are just some, some arbitrary scalars and u and v are arbitrary vectors. So cu plus dv uh, has the, this expansion. If we evaluate our transformation to it, it keeps the first two entries the same and multiplies negative one to the third entry. So we could now distribute that negative one uh, into the third entry. And what we'll do is we'll take our vector and break it up. The terms with u's will be first and the terms that have v's will be second. And you can see in that first vector, every term has a c in it, so we can factor that out. And in the second vector, every term has a D in it, so we can factor that out. And so we have C times this vector U1, U2, negative U3. That's exactly T of U. And the other term is exactly T of V. So we're done. We just showed that T is linear. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.